Nevada's first choice for news. This is 8 News Now at 6. UNLV's most important game of the season, less than 24 hours away. 8 Sports Now anchor Chris Matthews takes a look down memory lane as the Rebels get ready to play their longtime rivals. UNLV started playing football in 1968. The following year, in 69, UNLV and UNR played its first game. Since then, it's been a big deal. Even back in the 70s, they were talking. We got a long, hard night of work. It's not that first play. We've been waiting 29 long days for this. 29 long days. So, hey, let's, let's, let's start off right, man. Let's start off right. Damn, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. You guys are ready to play? Travel Nevada Reno, and I imagine you being involved in the big game for the first time is uh, will be a thrill for you too. I think it's a consensus of all the kids that this is the biggest game of the year for us. The vintage tape reminds us how deep rooted this series is. Even today, both sides know what the battle for Nevada is all about. This is a big game for this whole school. We got people just, hey, get the cannon back. I mean, go take it to them up north. We're going to be up there with you guys. Around campus, everyone's talking about it. Everyone knows that this is the game we're playing this week. They know who we're playing against, and um, they want the cannon back just as, I think, just as bad as we do. UNR coach Brian Pullian has been around for a while, so he knows a little bit about the battle for the Fremont Cannon. On the inside, it's as heated as anything I've ever been a part of. Uh, the outside world doesn't um, know much about it, but that's okay. That doesn't that doesn't mean anything to us. For Tony Sanchez, this is his first experience, but don't think he isn't aware of what's at stake. We want that cannon back in the locker room. Uh, they want to keep it where they're at, and I think you're going to get two teams that are fired up and excited about the game, and it's going to be a great environment, and we're going to go out there, and we're going to give a heck of an effort. Chris Matthews, 8 Sports Now. To the corner! Okay, I guess we'll find out by... Tomorrow night? Right. It could be cold and rainy uh, up there as Ooh, well. All right. Thanks for watching 8 News Now at 6. Have a good night. We'll see you back at 11 o'clock.